Okay, we're back out. I'm going to try again. I moved the CG up a good bit. Um, I fixed my nose up front, so we're good to go there. Also underneath, I put in these foam blocks just to keep the wings stiff because my wings are so thin. Um, it's just the way I made it. It's real quick and everything. The other one is actually not going to be all as flimsy because it's right around here. All this is going to be built up. It's going to have the motor and everything. on like on the movie, so it's going to be a lot stiffer and won't have as much uh, flex there. And uh, my control linkages on the other one, I'm going to put ball ends. This one here is just a piece of wire going through a, a piece of wood, a little plywood. So it's got a little bit of a slop to it. It was kind of like I did this. You know, it's nothing real high tech. Just something quick just to get it to work. So I'm going to try it like this and see how it does. And uh, if it works out, it should be pretty good to go. Um, and then I'm going to try to take off the rudder <laughs> and see how it does. If it don't work, then I guess on the other one I have to make a transparent rudder that pops up or something where I can hide, you know, close it in and out. Uh, but that's it. It's ready to go. Let's see how it goes. It's working. The wings are flexing a little bit, but not as bad as it was before. Alright, I cut the power and it started doing that thing again. So it looks like I gotta keep the power on. I don't know why it does that. But it's working, it's a little floppy though. <laughs> Flying with some wind. Will it work? Oh. I'm not sure why it does that. It's doing something kind of weird when I go to make a turn. Uh oh. Uh, when I go to make a turn, it's... Oh, I can hear it. Maybe get a little more nose up. Oops. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's doing a lot of bouncing. Yeah, I think I might move this CG just a little bit more in the nose. Alright, I'm going to try to land it. Uh oh. Huh. I didn't want to land it like that. <laughs> that wasn't my plan. I didn't do that. It's all of a sudden it, just, it nose straight down. I'm not sure what did that. Oh, weird. Okay. Okay, here we are. It's a pretty, pretty nasty wreck. I think it went nose straight in there. But, um... I'll glue it back together, try it again. It worked really good this time. Um, I think I might move the CG just a little bit more forward, and that, that'll probably do it. Um, it's flying good. It was fighting the wind pretty hard, though. The wind is really making the wings back there in the back just flop around. But um, it did good, considering the wind. Um, it turns weird. I don't know how to explain it. I've flown a bunch of different styles and uh, deltas before, and I've really done this. It's it's like uh, it goes to make a turn and then the rear end kind of sags and the nose goes up and it starts stalling. It might be because it's still tail heavy. It's a little weird. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing it must be tail heavy or something. So I'm going to try moving the battery up a little bit more up in the nose and uh, see how it goes. And um, well, after I glue it and everything. But I think it was a pretty good flight. I flew it around. I was going to come into land. Now, when I was making that last turn uh, to the left, it just all of a sudden just nose straight in. It went straight up. It looked like I did it on purpose, but I didn't. I'm not sure why I did that. If either the wind, you know, hit the canard when I had it turned to the side and it maybe blew it and nosed it down, but I tried pulling out of it and I wasn't really all that high either, but it, I couldn't get out of it. And 
I'm going to see if there's a mechanical issue here. Maybe the uh, push rod up in the nose came loose or something. Another thing, when I walked up here, I had a buzzing sound going. Um, I'm going to have to open up and see what's going on. Something uh, was binding. I don't know if, if it would kill the battery that quick or not. A server binding like that. But I have to you know, open up to see what's going on with that. Um, but that was good, though. It's getting getting close. I was hoping this would be the last test, you know, and it fly good. I could land it and try to take off the rudder and try it again, but looks like i got a few more things to work out. But it's going in a good direction. Um, you know, like I said, it's going to glue it back together and move the CG up. I'm going to try it again. And hopefully I'll be able to go and take the tail off and see how it flies. I'm hoping it flies with the off, with, without the tail completely while the wings are open. But um, I'll get it figured out. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it.